Welcome to another session of wireless communication and networks. Unit two, mobile data propagation. Last path class calculation. Today's topic is signal penetration into buildings. Signal penetration into buildings. Here, yeah, you know the concept of uh, signal receiving. Signal receiving. Suppose the transmitter is external transmitter. That is, uh, the transmitter is available in the external to the building, not inside the building. But the receiver is inside the building. The receiver is inside the building. At that time, how the signal is penetrates from transmitter to receiver, from receiver to transmitter side, both sessions, right? But it is very difficult to calculate whether the signal is coming or not. From external in the building receiver. Suppose you know you are observed. I think suppose uh, five floors of building is there, five floors of building is there, but the height of the transmitter is low compared to the height of the building. First, transmitter is low compared to height of the building, five floors building. Now you can observe that. Whenever the receiver or the mobile unit is in the ground floor, whenever it is in the ground floor, automatic where it exists losses of signal. That is, we are getting very low signal strength. But ground floor, first floor, when uh, whenever the mobile unit is there, nothing but we are reflection losses, diffraction losses, and scattering losses. Suppose the same mobile unit is moves to the top of the building at the fifth floor. Automatically, it gets line of path, line of sight path exists. It exists, line of sight path exists. Suppose, especially this is uh, considered under urban areas. Not only floors, multiple floors. Suppose clumsy of buildings is in the clumsy of buildings also we are getting very low signal strength. Due to multiple reflections, diffractions, and scattering, we are getting. Whenever the mobile is inside the building and transmitter is in the external part. Here, for this purpose, many number of uh, researchers they are uh, calculate how much alternation we are getting with different frequencies. With different frequencies, that is the RF penetration. That is radio frequency penetration is must and should depends upon the how much frequency which were used at the time of transmission. Here, not only the frequency, check the how much uh, the ant pattern. That is so using different types of location that is omnidirectional, directional antennas. And space diversity antennas, parabolic antennas, like these different types of antennas which we are used for mobile communication. But we have checked the pattern, right? But it pattern is depends upon the main lobes and side lobes. What is my main lobe and side lobes? Main lobe is nothing but from which direction we are getting how uh, high signal strength. Side lobes is leakage. That is about antenna pattern, right? Suppose we have to consider that we have to consider that take an example the outdoor transmitter that is base station or cell photo is outside uh, the receiver is inside the building that is mobility is inside the building the height of the transmitter is less than the height of the building first consider case one for this for this Liverpool, liver. Suppose we are getting the frequency is we are using for transmission is 441 megahertz, 441 megahertz, megahertz. We are getting the alternation is 16.4 dB, 16.4 dB. Next, suppose we are increase the frequency by 896.5 megahertz. We are getting. 11.6 dB. 
Suppose again increase the frequency by 1400 megahertz. We are getting 7.6 dB. See this relation. When our 441 megahertz, we are getting 16.4 dB loss. When we're using 1400 megahertz, we're getting only 7.6 dB loss. Nothing but another frequency we are using for transmission is increases, the attenuation will be decreases. Attention will be decreases. Similarly, Turkmani uh, is the name of the scientist, which shows some again some penetration losses with different frequencies. Nothing but for 900 megahertz. 14.2 dB for 1800 megahertz, 13.4 dB to, uh, for 2300 megahertz, 12.8 dB. Losses we are getting. That is different researchers. They are checked how much losses we are getting whenever the mobility is inside the building. Right. Similarly, we have to check uh, how many number of windows is there. Is there a loss due to windows? The maximum I mean, measurements. Uh, Suppose the mobile unit which is nearer to the window, window of your uh, uh, home or building, at that time we are getting maximum 6 dB losses we are getting. Success, losses we are getting. Right. This is about uh, how signal is penetration into buildings. Do you have any query type your query in a chart box related to this topic? Thank you, thank you very much for attending today's session.